Welcome to Vernon Finney's Art Review and Question and Answer Period. Of course, you can see I like short titles. Well, let's get right to it. This is a painting called The Star Maker. I've always liked science shows and uh, in particular things about the universe. Carl Sagan was one of my very favorites. Anyway, one night I was thinking about something and this flashed into my mind. So I thought, oh wow, I'll do that. So I got a couple models and made some sketches and then I sketched it onto the canvas. Everyone thinks this is God and it could be, he's a star maker. About a, I don't know, a few years ago, the Hubble telescope picked up a, a formation out in space that looked like it might be part of a tube but it was split down one side and they called it the star maker. There were a lot of stars around. I was a little shocked to see that inside this uh, so-called shell uh, was orange. So it pleased me a great deal. Everyone likes this painting. But there's about a dozen people who have asked me over the years, why did you put a belly button on? And I thought, well, uh, everything is procreated, so who created God? That usually got a laugh. Anyway, that's about all I can tell you about this painting, except it, it was really fun doing. This was my first full figure painting. It scared me at first, but when I got into it, it just flowed. It was good. My paintings usually flow. Hello, Vernon. How are you doing, dear? Fine, how are you? I'm fine. Good, good. So, what do you think of my painting? Magnificent. Oh, well, thank you. You got a question about it? Uh, did you do the figure from a model or from your head? I did practice from a model. Okay. I did probably a half a dozen sketches and then I went to this canvas. Okay. Hello, how are you? Well, hi there. My goodness, have you got a question for me, dear? How did you come up with the idea? It just flashed into my mind. As most of yours do. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure where they come from. There was, a <laughs> time, there was a time years ago that I thought maybe I was in getting, picking up find ways from someone halfway around the world. <laughs> but I got over that. How you doing? Here I am. Well, hi. hi. I'm glad to see you. Well, hello, Jenny. Hi, Vern. Good to see you. Welcome. Thank you. you. Got a question for me? Yeah, I do. You know, you hide a lot of pictures in your work. Why do you do it and when did you start? It's a compulsion. I don't know why I do it. <laughs> I just see something and if it relates to something, I put it in. They're all spontaneous. So. I like clouds in particular because you can do so much in clouds. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Are there any hidden pictures in the, in the picture behind you? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask too. Uh, I, I didn't put any in intentionally because I wanted the idea to be the main thing. But people find things in it that surprise me. So I, I God. <laughs> I kind of go from moment to moment. But I bet if we looked hard enough, we could find a face so that unintentionally, just like you could look at clouds and always find something. Uh, find something. Yeah, faces, animals, whatever. Vernon, what about this painting here? Tell us about it. Yeah, I did a couple of sketches before this. They're in the pile of paper but uh, the clouds were fun 
And I don't remember where I started. Hello. Welcome to the group. Thank you very much. Do you have a question for me? I'm wondering if you can get your camera to, you know, maybe show the picture a little bit closer. How old is that painting? I did it back in the 80s. Wow. Okay. So it's 25 or more years. What does that say? 85, 86? Uh, around there. Yeah, 85. 85. So it is, it's 25 years old. What, and what is the name of it? The Star Maker. The Star Maker. It's life size. In the background, in there the you go. there are small stars. Yeah. But this is the only big one. And it's all made, made with white stars, white straight lines. Oh, I that, see. Yeah. Star, yes. Oh, okay. I see. The Star Maker. What were you thinking about when you made the painting? Uh, I was actually I was thinking about the painting. It just flashed into my head, and I dwelled on it for a while, and it stopped. So one day I had to paint it. So Vernon, was the painting complete in your mind before you started? Oh yeah, all my paintings are complete in my mind. Okay. I wouldn't start a painting spontaneously. Well, some artists uh, change as they go along, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, once I get the sketch on, I'm free to do what I want. <laughs> and often it's a lot better than what was in my mind. Really? I've always thought your um, work uh, would appeal to the uh, science fiction, science fiction novel community, meaning to say I could see them on the cover of books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have, have you ever explored that? They don't pay that much kind of money for the labor. But I've had my art on them, four different publications on the cover. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, not this one. No, uh, but I've had an article that included this. I've had several uh, um, articles written about me and my art. It'll be on the website one of these days. Yeah. We're down to five minutes. Anyone got any more questions or stories? Mm -hmm. One more question. How come the clouds are a golden color instead of being white? I gave them a different color because I didn't want it to be earthly. Oh my God. Oh. There you go. That's a good answer. <laughs> 